we won't miss the opportunity to um, kind of sort your goodwill message to um, the couple and maybe a little bit of advice on what marriage is because these days we just think marriage is a play that we jump into and probably jump out and ladies and gentlemen we are here with the former honorable minister of interior um, honorable abba Moro. Um, he's here uh, with us celebrating the newly wedded couple and he will be giving us some tips on what marriage is well it's my pleasure to be here with you and to chat with you uh, on this auspicious occasion of uh, the wedding ceremony between uh, Jude and Josephine uh, on Oromome. Uh, Oromome happens to be the niece of my very, very good friend, long-standing friend, Mike on Oromome, who come a long way. And I, I took it that on this auspicious occasion of his giving out his uh, daughter to uh, Jude that I must be here. Of course, lending my support to him uh, in all its uh, ramifications. Uh, marriage uh, is, is, is a very significant phase of a man's life and uh, it becomes uh, very necessary and important that when these things happen, that people come to witness what God has put together. Uh, I want to believe from what I've seen in the church today that uh, Josephine and Jude uh, have come a long way in love together and that um, it is the consummation of that love that has uh, resulted into the wedding that we are witnessing today. And as you can see, there is excitement in the air, excitement in everybody's uh, face, uh, witnessing very, very important phase of uh, the life of the uh, young couple. Of course, I, I have this very simple uh, this to say about uh, the whole situation because in recent times as you have rightly pointed out people think that or uh, maybe believe that it is fashionable to just jump into marriage and then jump out of marriage uh, thinking that is uh, one of those uh, uh, entries and exits of life but quite frankly the consummation of marriage is one significant aspect in Christendom of the injunction of God that you must leave your father and your mother and cling to a woman and both of you will become one. And it is supposed to be for better for worse in whatever circumstances. And therefore my advice to the newest couple in town today is that they must stick to themselves in the very love that has brought them together that has culminated in their marriage today. And it is our hope that um, when we gather here once more uh, we should be gathering to celebrate the result of this marriage, which is, of course, the fruit of the womb, which is the wish of everybody. I used to say that um, if I attend any, any, any wedding, I, 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 I normally expect that uh, in a few months, in fact, less than nine months, that we should be celebrating the fruit of the womb. Because that's my, that's my belief. Because that is the ultimate aim of marriage in the first place and of course the fulfillment of God's injunction that we should go ye out there and multiply. And so my hope is that um, this marriage will be consummated uh, effectively to the level that the love that has brought them together will keep them together and that uh, next year we should be staying together again once more to uh, celebrate um, the fruit of the womb. And to my friend Mike, I, I just want to congratulate him because I'm sure uh, this must be one of the happiest moments of his life. At a point when you have spent all your resources on a lady to bring her up uh, and then she's getting married, leaving your home, of course with mixed feelings. Uh, she's been so dear to him, he definitely is going to miss him. But I'm sure he's going to be happy for him because the lady is going to build a, a family of her own and it is our hope and prayer that the family uh, succeeds.